Table for two, table for two. Having fun, playing games, just me and you. Welcome to the Table for Two show. I'm Phil. And I'm Jane. And happy 4th of July, Yes, everybody. happy 4th of July. 4th of yep. July weekend. Woo-hoo. Mm-hmm. Independence Day in the U.S. Yes, and if you're not, elsewhere. oh, that's right. Hello. <laughs> Hello, people who don't live in the U.S. So yep. Why don't you celebrate with us anyway? Hey. Yeah. Well, Can- <laughs> Canada Day was just a few days ago. Yeah, so, if you're in Canada, know. there's Canada Day. And it's for other days or other. But yep. we're celebrating 4th of July. Yep. Um, but that said, a couple things. First, we want to thank everybody that has given us um, kind words on our Facebook page about our cat rascal passing away. Thank you. It sucked yeah. that he passed away, but he was almost 20, mm-hmm. so we kind of anticipated it, but yet it still sucks. Yeah. Right? But thanks for those who gave us a little love, and we do appreciate that. We still have two kitties. Yep. Uh, we still have Turtle, mm-hmm. who's the crazy one, and we still have Miss Hiss. Of Miss His Productions. Yes. <laughs> so, um, and, and they're they're hanging out and they're doing well. And they're chasing each other and hissing and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, by the way, we're wearing our lovely new tie-dye shirts. And you might go, oh, where'd you get those cool tie-dye shirts? Well, we made them. You made them, sure. <laughs> so, during quarantine, um, I watch, and Phil doesn't, but I watch a lot of um, YouTube people. Um, more than uh, by Phil, because Phil's not interested in all the stuff I'm interested in, vice versa. <laughs> but um, as you guys might have heard from other videos, I like to watch Colleen Ballinger, uh, hence Miranda, if you know who Miranda is. And I know she's uh, been around for a long time. So some of you may know her, some of you may not. But she always does fun things with her, her husband and her kid. And they tie-dye a lot. And I've never, I personally have never tie-dyed anything in my entire life. And Philip had when he was a little kid or something. Yeah, I, I did when I was young. So I went on Amazon and I bought the tie-dye kit, which is very easy. And we bought a bunch of white shirts mm-hmm. and we made shirts. Yep. <laughs> and I'm pretty impressed with ourselves because we're not the best at it, but we <laughs> did a good job for the first time. So, yeah, it worked out. I, you know, no, uh, no sponsorship here, but the name of the company was called Tulip. And uh, they have all sorts of different colored tie dyes you can do, and mm-hmm. it, it was fun. It was just something different to do for a change. Yep. Try something new. So thank you, Colleen Ballinger, if she ever watches our show. <laughs> Not gonna happen, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I like getting some ideas from her sometimes, and it's yep. just fun to do some fun things. Now for Fourth of July, we thought it was appropriate. First of all, for me to have my nails red, white, and blue. Not if you all can mm-hmm. see that. Anyway, look like little little flags little flag, and your thumbs flag, there. That's cool. Flag, flag fingers, <laughs> flag fingers. Um, but we thought, what game do we play for Fourth of July? Mm-hmm. Well, as you know, we've been taking some you know games out of the closet here and there. But this is a brand new one we purchased at Target. Uh, we actually went to Target, wore our masks, <laughs> and went in carefully. Yeah. Uh, and we found. I feel like I need the song, <laughs> the theme song, but I'm from the uh, '70s and '80s, so. Yeah. Wonder Woman! Wonder Woman! Wonder Woman! <laughs> Challenge of the Amazons mm-hmm. by Ravensburger Games. Uh, yep. Or Ravensburger Games. Ravensburger. Um, I was a huge fan of Wonder Woman, Linda Carter, uh, when I was a little kid. I was kind of a fan of Linda Carter, too. <laughs> she still looks good in her, where she, I mean, she's a good looking woman. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, we've seen the movie, the new, newer movies from DC, which are very good as well. I like the, I forget the actress's name, but she's pretty good. But I still like yeah. Linda Carter best because that's just what I grew up with. Um, but I saw this at Target uh, and I'm like, whoa, Wonder Woman. I'm going to make Phil play Wonder Woman with me. <laughs> and he did. It did. Yeah, it, did. it was good. But before we talk about the game, of course, we're going to have yes. a little vino. Mm-hmm. I thought this was so cute. Hmm. It, it's a little piggy. <laughs> it's a little piggy on the cover, yeah. and it's called Lost Hog. Lost Hog. He's, he's all just, by himself. He's just looking the other way. He's, all along. <laughs> he's just guy. like, Mama, where am I? <laughs> well, we'll drink him and find out. Yeah, we'll find out. So we'll see. This is a, a, a seven young look at the other <laughs> Lost Hog. Lost Hog. I have no idea why they named it Lost Hog. I don't know. No clue. But found this at the Costco where we find all of our wine lately. Yep. Um, where is it from? It's from California. Mm. It smells nice. Lost hog. Now, what goes good with a white wine besides cheese or fish? I don't eat fish, but you know, all those kind of things. Mm. Dessert. Dessert. Sure. Why so, not? So, I was at the local grocery store <laughs> and I thought, <laughs> since it is 4th of July, mm-hmm. that we would do Hostess Twinkie 4th of July Twinkies. That looks very festive. Red, white, and blue Twinkie. Or you can mm-hmm. choose the, and I'm not sponsored by Hostess either, <laughs> Star Spangled Cupcakes. Wow. Which cool. one would you prefer? Uh, I'll take a Twinkie. 
This is the Twinkie. You pointed at the cupcake. No, I, but you want the Twinkie. Twinkie. Okay, I was gonna say you pointed at the cupcake. I'm like, well, all right, let's open the box. And somebody said in the grocery store where I bought it, they said it looks like it's got mold on it already <laughs> because it's got the color. The has, color flex. Has anyone ever seen? Yeah, right. Mold? You guys can't see this, but it looks like little green flecks in there. <laughs> has anyone ever seen mold on a Twinkie? Because I know they expire, but they never really go bad. They don't really go bad. <laughs> I'll do the cupcake. Oh, I, feel, I feel like I should have a knife and fork for my candy. <laughs> oh, stop. I just thought this would go good with the white wine. If I can get the damn box open, there we go. If I get the Twinkie out. Come on, host, just make it easier to open the box here. Aw, oh, look at my little cupcake. There we go. I gave it a plate so we don't mess up the game. My Twinkie. It does look like it's moldy. <laughs> it does not. You know what the thing is? It's a blue dye. Mm -hmm. It looks like mold. All right. Now wait a minute. Now wait. I'll show mine. Oh, I have my red, white, wow. blue cupcake. <laughs> it doesn't even look real. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Happy Fourth of July. Ding. <laughs> Meanwhile, for those who don't know this, Turtle's sitting on the table. <laughs> She's looking at us like, mm -hmm. "What am I gonna have?" What are you eating over there? Hmm. <laughs> Tastes like a Twinkie. Yeah. Yep. Wow, that icing is sweet. I, I like I like a good dessert. Don't get me wrong. It looks like clay or something. It doesn't look like sweet. Like it's sweet. It's like play doh. <laughs> I take one bite. Mm. Not yeah. bad. That's not, not thrilling. <laughs> yeah. Claire's over there. No, I can't put it there. The cat's there. <laughs> she might want some. I'll put it there. there yeah, I'll try the wine. All right. Turtle trying to try the wine. I just say cheers. Happy Fourth of July. You mm. didn't cheer me. Two into the line. Mm. Oh, that's sweet too. Well, it's not bad. Everything's sweet now. Too sweet. Mm. I like it. Want some wine, sure turtle? I like it. <laughs> turtle, you can't have wine. All right. So this game is co a collaborative game. Yes, it is. We're both playing Amazons. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> I mean, Phil playing Amazon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway. And uh, we're on, what's the island called again? Uh, Themyscira. Themyscira, mm -hmm. where Wonder Woman and her clan are. And there's an enemy mm -hmm. trying to attack the island that we're on, which we'll show in a minute. Yeah. Um, now, may I have the enemy a token? Yes, you can. Okay, so this is the enemy that we're going against. <laughs> it's called Ares, or Ares, or A-R-E-S. <laughs> Ares. <laughs> I was going to say Ares, but... It's, no, it's not spelled the same as Aries, like the I'm an Aries, and that's A-R-I-E-S. Yes. Right. <laughs> it is 4th right. of July if you're hearing fireworks. <laughs> yeah, I didn't add those with editing. <laughs> no. So, Aries is the bad guy, mm -hmm. and he's trying to take over the island, which we're going to show in a minute. But let me just have those um, other two cards right there. These two? No. Underneath the, where it says Cheetah oh, and Cersei. The ones underneath. Okay. Yeah. So the very first game you play, you go against this dude here. But then there's two other enemies. Mm -hmm. There's <laughs> the cheetah. Cheetah. They're stuck together. <laughs> there, the cheetah. Mm -hmm. And then there's Cersei. Yeah. Or Cerse, I don't know. <laughs> you pronounce his name. I'll go with Cersei. All right, I got to go to seven wine because I'm choking. <laughs> so anyway, you can play the next game with one of these um, enemies. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool. It's not just the same game every single time. Yep. Um, but each of us, give me those there, please. It's like, I feel like you're my little assistant. <laughs> they somehow all ended up on the opposite side. <laughs> you're my assistant today. <laughs> each of us decide who we're going to play. Well, of course, because I chose the game, I played Diana. Wonder mm -hmm. Woman, basically. Wonder Woman. <laughs> and, <laughs> and of and course, Philip, Philip chose. <laughs> Philip chose Philippus. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Well, okay, he was supposed to, but he can be to his own name. I guess it's that's a weird woman's name, though. Philippus. Maybe it's Philippus. Philippus. I don't know. So you each get basically your hero mm -hmm. action card, and you put that in front of you. Thank you. Yep. Then each of you get your hero. I have a little Wonder Woman, and Phil mm -hmm. had a little Philippus. Yep. And you put them in the palace, which I'll show you in just a minute. So we both choose a, a hero, and we're going against this guy, Ares, or yeah. Ares, or whatever his name is. Ares. Um, this is the board. Now, first of all, i got to show you the board this way first. Look at that cool back of the board. Mm -hmm. It's Wonder Woman! Du, 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 Wonder yep. Woman! Okay. All right. And then we'll turn it around. 
she's ah, all right. And this is the island. And basically, we both start in the palace here. Mm -hmm. And then there's all sorts of different places you can go to. Um, and that's, that's the board. And then, oh, there's two tracks. One is the bad guy track. Mm -hmm. So this is the uh, whoever your enemy is. Yep. And then we have our defense track for us as right a, collaborating, a collaborating team. Yes. Uh, we start at 20 in this mm -hmm. particular first game. And with a two-player game, uh, I believe he started at uh, 15. Yeah, somewhere around there. Somewhere around yeah. there. Um, you'll see in the... Oh, by the way, picture playthrough below. So if you click on the link below. I didn't do a full game because this is almost an hour game. Yeah. And to take picture after picture after picture... I mean, I did take a lot of pictures, and you'll see I did take a lot. But I did kind of skip around a little bit because yeah. I figured you... Some people do like to see every single turn. Yeah. Really. But some people are like, all right, already. What all the turn, You know, because it's a little bit... You'll see the turns are a little bit redundant on how... <laughs> you 300 yeah, pictures. <laughs> 500 pictures later. <laughs> but you definitely will get a sense of how it's played. 100%. Yeah. Um, now... The enemy has a deck, so he has the Ari's deck, mm -hmm. and then the heroes have the hero deck. Yep. So that's to shuffle those up, you got those to the side. And then there's um, a bunch of cards, or actually eight cards, that are called relics. And in the very beginning of the game, you choose four randomly, mm -hmm. and you mix them into the hero cards. These are relics you can earn you know, during the game, and they give you special powers and things like that. So yeah. but they go in the same hero pile. Why don't you pick four? Ooh, this wine's getting me a little hiccupy. <laughs> yeah, I'll move these over here because mm. I think you're going to need these too. Yeah. Now for the Ari's game, I'm going to keep saying Ari's. I don't know what the hell he's called. That's fine. A R E S call it person. Mm -hmm. Somebody, somebody's going to say, "Ha, ah, she doesn't know how to say it." And that's why that's some popular character. And yeah. I only knew Wonder Woman growing up, and you know she was fighting like I don't know, regular people. Um, there's a card called the Sword of. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, uh, I'll, I'll give that one a shot. Uh, sort of. Sort of Hephaestus. That sounds good. Sort of Hephaestus. Mm -hmm. So for this particular game, there's a sort of Hephaestus. You have to have this sword active in order to take down the enemy. So if we, we, we took him down to like one health point left. We couldn't hit him with that last point until somebody hits him, whoever has a sort of Hephaestus. Yes. Um, but you can't activate this until you receive... Uh, what are we talking about here? There's four tokens that are put on the board in different places that you have to obtain. Mm -hmm. And once you get all four, then the person who has this card can then use it to kill him in the end. Yeah. Hopefully kill him in the end. Which you had the card when we played. And that's a unique factor to this, uh, this enemy, just so mm -hmm. you are aware of that. Um, but the, the gameplay is quite simple. And, and each, with each, nice, each player gets um, a round phase card so you can kind of look yeah. at it and or know what the heck you're talking about. Actually, what's kind of cool is you get the round phase card. You also get a card for the villain you're going up against. Right. So it tells you how, you how to kind of fix things on him. All right. This game is played in rounds. Each round, though, has five parts to it. And again, we're collaborating through these rounds, just so you are aware. But the first thing is very simple. We have to, um, they call it an enemy advance. The, yep. the, the enemy's going to move or do something. And you simply do, the first thing is there's the uh, enemy card deck. You pick the very first one, or the top card, and it will say at the very bottom a location. You ignore the rest of the text on the card. And mm -hmm. this one says the palace, for example. So we take the enemy, and we put him wherever it tells us to put him. Easy as that. Yep. Now, if... There are warriors in there, which those we haven't talked about yet, but if there are war our side, basically, warriors that are out there, mm -hmm. they are converted into some nasty, bleh, the purple, where are the purple tokens? Hey, the there. purple ones, yeah. There's little purple tokens, and they're called corrupted Amazons, yeah. and then they become his people, like he converts them. He's like, right. does some mind thing yeah. on them. <laughs> but if there are no warriors where he lands, mm -hmm. then we put two of these little orange tokens, which are servants of the war, which are, again, bad people. Yeah. So he's always starting with some nasty people <laughs> that goes around with him. Mm -hmm. But then you choose the second card from his deck, and then you read whatever the words are, not the location, but the actual words. So for example, this one says, deploy two servants to where he is. So now you just add two, maybe? <laughs> now you add two more. Add two more. Yep. And then any purple, which is the, the bad Amazon queens there, they move one region towards the palace. Yeah. And you don't want them in the palace. No. That's important, because <laughs> you'll see in a minute, that's nasty. Yeah. So that's step one, very simple. You move him to where he's gotta go, put some servants and things, and maybe make things purple and bad mm -hmm. stuff happens. Um, then you have to strategize. So each player grabs hero cards. Now you draw, I'll explain this in a minute, but draw two face up each. Mm -hmm. Now in case of Philippus, they had a special power where he gets three cards. Yeah. And they draw them face up. Yeah. So each player gets three face up. Well, you get three, I get two face up cards. Yeah. But then you pick three more face down, okay? Each card has actions you can do. 
Some of them will allow you to move around the board. Some of them are swords that you can kill an enemy with. Mm -hmm. Some of them are books that you can also kill an enemy with. There's another, it's like wisdom or whatnot. Yeah. Um, and then there's stars that actually help you create more warriors if you're in the right spot on the board. Yeah, you have so, to be in the right spot to be able to do that. Right, so there's all sorts of things you can do. So you're both looking at your cards and you're trying to determine, okay, what's the best route? So you look at you know what enemies are on the board, mm -hmm. where is he? Um, you know, and you're trying to strategize together because you both have cards you can look at first. And you kind of say, well, I have this and you have that. Yeah. What do you think you want to do? But then in the ultimate scenario, you have to choose three actions out of your card pile per person yeah. of what you want to do during that turn. And the three cards that are hidden from each other, you both get to see your own cards. And then you make a serious decision about what you're going to do. So you have an idea. Yeah. But at that point, you can't collaborate on it anymore. Right. It's all secret at that point. Yeah. So each player on there... A player mat will put three face down cards, action one, action two, action three. And then mm -hmm. once everybody's decided, oh, it's warm in here today. <laughs> once everybody's decided what they're going to do, mm -hmm. you then do what's called the battle. Yeah. Now at the battle, we each turn over our first action card together. Mm -hmm. And now we can talk. Yeah. If we wanted to do and say, okay, well, I, I picked this, what did you do? And, and then you can either move or you're killing things or, you know, you're trying to mm -hmm. obviously help save the world here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the things is if you have four of the Ari's character, if you have four of an item, and by the way, there are numbers. So like this one has three books. Maybe it's two books. Maybe it's one book. Four swords, two swords. Mm -hmm. So if you have four of one of the emblems, any one of them, you can smack them down. If you're you can in, go but after you, him. Yeah, but you have to be in with him wherever he is. Yeah. And that'll take his health down. That's how you get him. But the very last yeah. one, you got to have that big sword that I mentioned a little bit earlier. So you do your battle and you kind of do all your actions together and you hopefully get further and get rid of purple things and yeah. orange things. But, but, but you have to strategize on it because you can't just go after him. That's, I mean, right. that's the whole point of the game is if there are five or more uh, obstacles in one area, mm -hmm. that can take you down really fast. So you, you kind of have to manage the whole board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the other thing is when you're moving around the board, like I said, if I, if I landed in a space that had the little, you know, the uh, sword tokens in them, I could mm -hmm. grab that token, as long as I stay in that spot, I yeah. could grab that token and put it on the card, so hopefully we can energize that sword for the end, towards the end of the game. Yeah. Um, and then if you happen to get a card that's a relic, mm -hmm. as, soon as, you, as soon as you flip that card, you have to make a decision. Am I going to, quote unquote, you know, discover this relic? And if so, there's a relic token, and you put it wherever it tells you to put it on the board. That doesn't mean you get the relic. Right. It means you're putting it out there for somebody to get. Yeah. And then whoever gets it later gets the card and the relic, and they can do whatever the special power is, which is kind of cool, too. Mm -hmm. And that can be very helpful. Um, so once you take all your actions, you hope you got rid of some enemies, then the end of round comes. Here's the bad part. You look at your enemy card. So mm -hmm. for example, our defense line, right? we had 20 defense to start. We lose one defense for any region that has an orange uh, servant in it. Yeah. One, just one per, but you know, yeah. not, not it could be one, two, three, or four. Doesn't yeah, matter. Doesn't for, matter. Just you count the region. Region with orange in it. Now, this is why you don't want the purple Amazons, the bad Amazons, in the palace because lose two defense for every purple in the palace. Yeah. So you want to get those purples out of the palace as soon as possible. Kill them, move them, whatever yeah. you got to do. Um, but if any region on the board has three, I'm sorry. Uh, five or more obstacles. So maybe yeah. it has a couple of purple, it's got a couple of orange. Now, by the way, there's the green, which is the blockades. They're called yeah. blockades that we didn't actually find. We didn't get them in play. Yeah, they actually go on the roads that are between the spaces on the board. Right, and we didn't actually actually have that in our game. Yeah. They didn't come up. They could have, but they didn't. Yeah, but if you have any region that has five or more things in there, uh, obstacles, you lose three defense yeah. for each region that has more than five. So that's, <laughs> so goes. all of a sudden your defense can go down the tubes and then yeah. if you lose all your defense, you guys have lost the game. You're done. Yeah. Hopefully you don't and you get to the zero with him or the whatever enemy it is and then you win the game basically. Yeah. So it's very simple. I actually it's simple. It's, it's a lot of strategy. Mm -hmm. You have to understand your cards and who has what and what the options are and what you want to try to do. Yep. I mean, but it's a fantastic... Oh, and then yeah. there's one, two, three... I'll go to the board real quick. One, two, three, four. There's four spaces that have a star on them. Mm -hmm. If you land in the region with a star, and you are lucky enough to have a hero card that actually has stars as an emblem, you can then get warriors. Yeah. And those warriors are put wherever you are. You know, you, let's say I get three warriors, and I put them near me, and they move with me during my movement phase. Mm -hmm. What's so cool about warriors is if you're in an area where, for example, to kill the servants, you needed to have, let me double check, two swords to kill a servant. There's two for one of the orange pieces. Well, let's say I had um, two, two swords, but I had two warriors with me. 
I could say, okay, I'm going to use those two swords, but I'm going to use two warriors to make it four swords and yeah. kill two orange pieces. Yep. But when you do use these, they go back into the, you know, the impile, basically. Yeah. Um, so you kind of, you know, they're kind of like extra points. Yeah. For a better word. They can be dangerous, too, though. Why don't you tell them what happened in our game? <laughs> I was out of roll. Where's my cupcake? By the, by the way, the heroes also, there's text on them, and sometimes oh, yeah. that text can also help you out. So um, I had a situation where with the text and uh, one of the, uh, I think I had an amulet, that I had was able to create eight warriors all at once. He was all excited. I'm I, eight warriors! I am so going to just kick butt on the next turn. Ares moves. Where does he move? Where right he to is. where I am. All my eight warriors became purple, and it took three books per purple to get rid of them, which I was there forever, just trying to kill those two. Yeah, so you think you're being cool, and also, you're not, <laughs> oh, did you know there's cream so, in the cupcake? It should be, yeah. Cool. I didn't know there's cream in the yeah. cupcake. So, uh, so yeah, it's it's kind of fun. It, you know, some, I don't eat these very often. The, the game can turn real quickly on you, but it was yeah. it was kind of comical at the time. Like, really. All these spaces on the board. Here we Can go. I have my face now? No. <laughs> no. I mean, seriously, this is... <clears throat> I had a great time with this game. This is one of those games where, you know, you're like, I hope it's not going to be too complicated. <laughs> but it wasn't complicated. It was easy to learn. Mm -hmm. You know, a couple turns down, you, you got the rhythm going. And I really had fun. I had a good time playing this game. Yeah, I, I liked it, yeah. Yeah, I would play this game again and again if yeah. we had more time to play games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was It was good. So we thought appropriate Wonder Woman for Fourth of July. Again, great game, Ravens Ravensburger. Mm -hmm. um, pick, up, pick up a copy of Target. Again, nobody sponsors us. We don't care if you go to Target, but um, that's where we got our copy. It was a good price. I can't think if there's anything else we want to say about this game. I just, just we talked about everything. We covered it all. We mm -hmm. did it all. We said it all. So anyway, we hope you guys have a fabulous Fourth of July, or have had a fabulous 4th of July, if you're watching this after the 4th of July. Yep. Um, don't forget, Sunday is our, um, well, this, well, it's either, it's, you know, when you watch this, Sunday at noon, to July 5th, we are picking the winners of last month's contest. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all who entered. And then the new contest will be put up. So there won't be as many games because we missed two weeks, unfortunately, one yeah. because of poor rascal dying, and then yep. the other weekend just because we had a better yeah. weekend. Um, but so there won't be as many games to choose from, but you'll still have a choice to win something. Yeah. Right? Yep. All right, guys. Have a great 4th of July. Enjoy. Be safe. Be careful. Stay healthy. Yeah. All these things. Wear your mask. If you're a mask person. If you're not a mask person, God bless you. Whatever. Yep. I'm not, I'm, no judgment right. here, kids. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye. Bye.